In today's video, I'm going to be doing instant dreadlocks on an afro on a special guest that you guys have already seen on the channel, which I'll show you really quick. Let's see who the special guest of today is. Oh, it's Mannequin the Great again. What do you got to say? I want to give a huge thank you to today's sponsor for sending me out these shoes. You can click the link down below and you can check out their website. But other than that, the cool thing about their website is that you can actually customize dress shoes. Yeah, these are the ones that I picked up. I think they're really cool. This is the color that I was looking for. I already have a black pair of these, so I wanted to get a brown pair. But you can literally customize however you would like. And that's what makes these different. You can customize them with literally, if you wanted to do blue shoes, you can do blue shoes. So make sure to click the link down below and check it out. And I want to thank them for sponsoring today's video and sending me out some cool shoes. But you guys, in today's video, like I said in the last video of me using Mannequin Degree, is I'm doing wigs because of the fact of COVID-19 and everything like that that's going on and I'm not able to actually do people's hair, or I don't feel comfortable doing other people's hair during this time, just because I'm super big on social distancing and staying home, and this is a way that you guys can learn on your own hair, versus going to a loctician, spending thousands of dollars. And I've heard of so many stories and people, even my own friends that went to locticians and their hair just doesn't turn out correct, and the loctician really didn't know what they were doing with that person's hair type. And nobody knows your hair better than you. So with these videos and your knowledge of your hair, and if you don't know your hair type, make sure to watch a video, which I do have a video out on explaining everyone's hair type and what methods to use in order to get dreadlocks with your particular hair type. But I do have an afro today that we're gonna be working on, and in the last video I did with Mannequin the Great is I did instant dreadlocks on straight hair. And let me show you guys that real quick. All right, so this is the straight hair wig, and you guys see how I did this instant dreadlock. If you guys do have straight hair, or if you wanna watch the video of me doing this, make sure to click the link down below. Now everybody, as far as the tools I'm gonna be using in today's video are the only tools that I truly believe in and that work on every single hair type, no matter your hair type, if you have straight hair or if you have really kinky hair. These tools work on any hair type and it locks up your hair instantly. For this video, I'm gonna be using the locking bundle. Link to this is down below and it is on a discount price right now. And you see that actually all the new crochet needles actually have the great logo on them. So make sure to pick them up now because these are brand spanking new with a discount. But everyone, let's go ahead and get started. This is a very easy and straightforward process. I'm just gonna show you everything you need to know in order to get instant dreadlocks with this hair type. And like I said, if you do have straight hair, make sure to watch the straight hair video after this one. All right, we're gonna start out by using a pick just to pick everything out. Obviously your hair is gonna be a little bit different, but this is a very realistic Afro wig and it will be very similar to your hair. But the reason you wanna pick out your hair is because when you start out your dreadlocks, you want your dreadlocks to be at its full potential and full length during the beginning stages, especially if you're getting instant dreadlocks. So the reason you're picking that out is because it makes your dreadlocks appear longer in the beginning stages versus having a ton of shrinkage or your hair seeming shorter once you lock up your hair, which a lot of people do end up having if they don't do it correctly. And this is the step you'd want to do in order to achieve, you know, elongated dreadlocks. And it just creates better sections when you do your sections, so on and so forth. And this also goes for any hair type. You want to comb through your hair completely before you get started. And another thing to remember before you get started that a lot of people don't tell you is you want your hair to be completely clean. So wash your hair all the way through. Wash it twice. Do like a, a wash, rinse, and repeat. And don't condition your hair before you start dreadlocks because then you want your hair to be completely dry and completely clean. All right, y'all, Mannequin Great needs a lineup. We know. We'll just do it this way so the lineup doesn't look too bad. All right, now in this video, I'm going to show you how to create the instant dreadlock. We'll do one up in the front. But first things first, you want to create a section. These wigs come with sections because that's how they lace them. But you want to section out your hair. You can section your whole head if you would like with rubber bands, or you can do it dreadlock for dreadlock. So each dreadlock, you do one and then you just move on to the next one. So like with this one, I'm just creating a little inch section. You can use the, crochet, the back of the crochet needle um, to create those sections as well, or you can use a, a rat tail comb. But the back of the crochet needle works really good. Now with this, this hair is about four inches, so we're gonna expect some pretty short dreadlocks. But I think this is a good time to start your dreadlocks, even if you were to do any other method, but 
like I said in today's video we're doing the crochet hooking method because it's instant and you get your results immediately and you're able to see how your hair is going to look. I'm just going to comb through like this a little bit using the back of the crochet needle because I want this section to be pretty combed out very well. Alright so here we go we have this section right here now it's time to get started. So we got this section and you guys are really going to be surprised how quick this actually will turn into a dreadlock. So first things first, you want to start twisting the hair and you always want to start closer to the root versus the tip because starting at the root allows your hair to maintain its length the best as possible. But you can see how I have this twisted. Of course, if I were to untwist it, it would, I mean, there's not a lock right here, but you want to leave about an inch of new growth because if you pull it too tight to the scalp, then you're going to result in what's called traction alopecia or just too much tension at the scalp and you can result in hair loss and nobody wants that. So you got it like this, this is what it looks like if you're not holding it, but twist it pretty good. And I got a little bit of wiggle room down here. Since this is a mannequin, I'm gonna go pretty low and, and that's because the hair is not that long. I wanna show you guys most of the process, but here we go. You want to start by inserting the crochet needle down by the bottom and you can start slow if you want since it is down by the root and essentially all you're doing is you're putting the needle through so I'm going to show you a slow motion so you're putting the needle through and when the needle comes through it's grabbing hair all throughout the middle and the other side of that dreadlock and then now you have them in the hook and now you're pushing it in a different way and then you're just creating the hair to knot up but notice what I'm doing I'm not coming this way if I come this way I'm essentially pulling hair out of the scalp and that's what you don't want to do because then that is going to result in a re really fast hair loss because you're instantly pulling out the hair but if you're pulling the tips of the hair towards the root that's success that's what you want to do so you take it just like this and you're pulling it directly toward the root and you can go as fast as you want and go as slow as you want <clears throat> but what I do is I'll begin and then I keep rotating the hair Rotate it all the way till it can't rotate no more. And then literally just, just in and out like that. Just like that. And like I said in the beginning, you might want to start out a little slow. And if this is your first time, make sure to go, you know, pretty slow. But I will say that you get quick results when you move quicker. But if you can see what's going on, you can see that I'm pulling hair from the other side of the dreadlock to the other side. And then just constantly doing it. Now I can rotate the dreadlock back the opposite way. The cool thing is, is if it unravels, it's kind of a good thing because then now you're setting the hair up for it to be locked another way. So I just do it a little bit. And what I'm doing at the bottom right now, I'm essentially just creating an, an initial knot is what I like to call it. So once you have that initial lock or knot, whatever you want to call it, then you can start moving down the length of the dreadlock. And to be honest, I would most likely be done with this dreadlock already if I wasn't showing you guys. That's how quick you can get it done. But for the tutorial purpose, I'm slowing down a little bit to be in depth. So you'll be able to see right here what I'm doing. So I'm going in. And literally, see the needle all the way through? That's good. And then you pull it through. Once it goes through to the other side, then you're, you could pull through. There's no use in going all the way in and coming all the way out. You want to just, you know, you can do it quickly right here. You can work it inside of the dreadlock just like that and you'll feel hairs moving all around your thumb. And that's good because you're pulling hair under your thumb into this knot. Once that knot is officially there, so you have your initial lock right there at the root, and then now I'm gonna start working down the length. And you want to constantly build upon that knot. So build that knot and then work down a little bit, build a knot, but keep building knots. Um, because what you don't wanna do, you don't wanna build a knot here move down too far and build a knot here and you have this very thin spot that can result in uh, your dreadlock breaking off which happens to quite a bit of people but I'm just going to build upon that all the way down to the tip so you'll see how this goes now that you know how to do it then it becomes very fast and it is easier when, you when you're just in between the thumb and your index finger going in and out because you're squeezing the dreadlock allowing that hair to be pulled through but you'll be able to see it's loose right now so this is what the hair looks like. And then you'll see it all locked up here in about a minute. And the reason I have it pretty bright right now is because it makes it easier for you guys to see 
But here we go. I'm just going to show you guys how quick I can get this done. Because it's essentially everything I just told you. And then you just keep moving it. You want to rotate the drill lock clockwise, counterclockwise. And that's what makes it so good with the instant locking process. Because once you're done doing this, say you want to do twisting with gel afterward, then you can twist your hair whichever way you would like to versus being stuck to only twisting a certain way. But you can see how the closer I get to the tip, the easier it gets. Because once you create that initial lock, all you're doing is pulling hair into that lock and building upon it. Because I've already done an inch, and now I'm just working on those other two inches. Because that initial lock in the beginning is about an inch. And then after that, you're just building upon that. And you get to maintain the hair length pretty well. I can definitely say that um, curly hair maintains its length a little bit better than straight hair. Because straight hair is at its full length all the time versus curly hair only being at its full length when you stretch it out. So you can't really tell the difference, which is a good thing. But I'm just literally, you see me, it's almost like I'm dialing in on a, you know, one of those dial locks, like a locker. You can see I'm already to the tip and I'll show you how to do the tip. Tip is easier on curly hair than it is on straight hair. So it's essentially, I'm gonna, I'm gonna maintain the length a little bit more. But now that I am down here, I like to go sideways versus back because then you maintain the length a little bit more when you pull the hair um, sideways versus backwards because then you're pulling it back into it. But you still don't want to pull this way because you can still pull hair out of the scalp. So you want to just pull sideways and rotate. And pull, keep doing it. And you can essentially just blunt off the tip of the dreadlock doing this versus pulling directly towards you or the, the client or whoever's hair you're doing. But there's really nothing to it but to do when it comes to crochet hooking. It's very easy to do. You can get it done very quickly. And like, to be honest, if you're doing this on your own hair, you're going to be inspired and encouraged and ready to do it that you will most likely finish this, you know, like I've done before with my friends in five hours. So, so you can do that. You can definitely do it in a day or you can split it up and do it in multiple days. I would recommend starting in the back, working forward if you're doing it yourself. Um, just in case you don't finish it all in one day, then it just makes it easier on yourself. Or you could start on top and then say if it doesn't all finish and you have enough hair to pull it into a ponytail, then do that. Um, then you can't even tell. But guys, literally look at that. I did this and the amount of me doing this, this video right here, this clip is 10 minutes. But I mean, I did this whole dreadlock. If I were to do it without talking and giving a tutorial, would have been done and easily one minute, especially at this hair length. So if your hair is about four inches or six inches or around there, then you can start your dreadlocks very easy. And I mean, you can see this thing is thick, ready to go, mature. You can wash it if you want, do whatever you want. And I can go in with an interlock on this. I'm gonna go ahead and do it so I can show you guys how the locking bundle works and why it's so good for instantly locking up dreadlocks. And I'll show you guys a tip to make dreadlocks hang because this one is standing up. All right, you guys, so you see on Mannequin the Great how the dreadlock is standing straight up and sticking straight out. I'm gonna make it to where it lays down on the face. And this is one huge thing that people face during the beginning stages of interlocking, but that is all I'm gonna be showing you with the crochet needle today. Make sure to pick this up at greatlocks.com. It is on sale. Now moving on to the Great Locks interlocking tool. Essentially all you do is you put the dreadlock in this loop and then you loop the tip of your dreadlock through the root of your dreadlock using the needle side. All right, so you literally just take and force the tip of the dreadlock through here. I only like to put a little bit through. See how there's barely any hanging out because then it won't catch on onto anything. And then now, since I want the hair to lay down, I'll just do one interlock. So I'm going to thread the tip through the top and face it down, which will force the dreadlock to hang down. And then over time, you can just obviously go back in and, and do it other directions as well. So got it through there. So you can see how Put this through the root. Now you just want to pull it through. Now that the tip is through, now you just pull it all the way through. And it kind of just loops itself. It is a little different on the mannequin, but you can see how now the drill lock is facing down and hanging on the face, hanging down versus straight out. And that is how you do an interlock. And you can see how this is completely locked up from tip to root, and especially tying off everything with the interlock because this isn't going anywhere. And if you wanna reverse the interlock, you can always just go and take the tip, 
back the same way you came from. And that's as simple as that. But that is how you do the instant locking method with the locking bundle from greatlocks.com. And it's very easy to use and do on an afro. I'm telling you, this is the best hair type for getting dreadlocks. But don't be discouraged if you don't have this hair type. Like I said, I showed you guys how to do dreadlocks with the straight hair. And then this is the polar opposite. So you got 1A hair versus a 4A hair type. Two very different hair types, but the same dreadlock using the same exact tools and you can use it for any hair type whatsoever. These videos are really to show you guys that there's no limitations to getting your dreadlocks the way that you would like them and getting them as fast as you'd want them as well because with using the interlocking tool, mostly using the crochet needle, that is the hands down best tool for dreadlocks and you guys hear me saying that over and over again. These are tools that you can use at your own pace and make your dreadlocks look the way that you want them to look. Like I said, as fast as you want them to be done. So don't forget to purchase yourself either a crochet needle or an interlocking tool, or just go ahead and get the bundle and, and do exactly what I showed you in today's video. And you guys can have dreadlocks instantly. I'm telling you, you can do one dreadlock per one minute. So say you did 60 dreadlocks per hour, you can have your full head done within five hours easily. But you guys, I have plenty of tutorials coming out soon for you guys, so stay tuned for that. Other than that, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. and. Shout out to Manikin the Great for featuring in this video. There's going to be plenty of more videos with him in it. So stay tuned for that. Other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully you guys do have an amazing day. Matter of fact, have a great day. Peace and God bless.